Now, for many, many years, I've been coming on holiday to the north of Wales. Many, many years, I've been coming here to the north of Wales. And this country, in the early 1900s, was known for revival. It was known for men who preached the gospel. And many, many churches started here back all those years ago. There was a great Christian nation here in Wales at one time. And now, as you look behind me, we've got an empty chapel. If you go down to Bordy Guest, another empty chapel. Empty chapels everywhere in the north of Wales. Why has Wales forsaken the God that loves them? Why has Wales forsaken the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ? Why has Wales turned away from the one, the only one who can give them redemption of sins, the one who died on the cross for them, the Lord Jesus Christ? That's why I'm out here today in Wales. You see, here we've got a, a Christian bookshop, a Christian cafe that's seeking to share the light of Christ. And right next to me here, we've got someone who's pushing the agenda of the world, the agenda of the world. And this is why, my dear friends, this is why we've turned away from Christianity. You may look at me, you may laugh, you might want to spend time here, but I'm saying this very country, Wales, was built on a Christian nation. It was built because the gospel, because men went out and preached the, the word of God. Evan Roberts went out and preached the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and souls turned to him. So let me ask you a question. What goes through your mind when you hear the name Jesus Christ? Is he just a swear word on your lips? Is he just an excuse to have a bank holiday at Easter? What is Jesus Christ to you? Did you know, whatever you think of the Lord Jesus Christ, he loves you to pieces. On a cross 2,000 years ago, those worst things you've done, the thoughts that you have, all the evil things that you've ever done, everything you've done, past, present and future, was laid on the Lord Jesus Christ. And there he hung on a cross so that you could be forgiven. There he bled and died. Your sin was laid on him. Your sin put him on the cross. But did you know this? Your sin can be washed away. It can be washed whiter than snow. And you can be totally forgiven if you turn to him today. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? Will you come to the one who rose from the dead? Will these chapels behind me now be filled again with men and women in Wales who praise the Lord Jesus Christ? Or will you continue to turn away from him? Because I'll tell you, there will be a consequence one day. There will be a price to pay if we continue to turn away from him. And one day you will meet your God. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. How many of you going by today can tell me you'll be here next week? You can't, can you? How many can say you'll be here next month? And yet one day you will meet your God. And this God loves you. He wants to save you. But if you turn from him, if you reject him, if these chapels remain empty and the churches get smaller and smaller and smaller, when people turn away from the living God, I'm telling you now, you will pay the price for it. And I do not want you to go to hell. That's why I'm stood here looking like a bit of a nut job, but I'm okay with that. If there's someone here today who turns to Jesus Christ, escapes the fires of hell, I'm prepared to be there. Listen, street preachers are just like fire alarms. They're really, really annoying, really irritating, but they warn you of danger. And I'm warning you today, there is a fire. There is a fire that will await for every single soul that has not turned to Jesus Christ. And, well, you can say I'm annoying, madam, but you need to turn to Christ because you don't know how much longer you've got left. And you will meet your Lord one day, and you need to make sure that your sins have been washed away. Good people don't go to heaven. It's only forgiven people. God bless you all. I'm here again just to say too many empty chapels in Wales, and I'll keep preaching until these chapels are filled again. Okay, God bless you all, and thank you for listening.